some pencil and I'm going to kind of eyeball where I'm going to put the spider body. And I'm just going to draw like a circle and that just gives me like a reference point and then a head right there. And then I'm going to use Mishu's Pro Gel in black and I'm going to be using Moira's foil in gold and in silver. Reference point also and that way I will know where to draw the legs because I don't want to go ahead and glue the body on now and then try to foil with the body on because risk getting foil all over the body and the head so that's why I like to just make a little reference point do all my drawing and then do my foiling and then glue the body on And now I'm going to draw the spider's legs on and that is why I have uh, the spider kind of body drawn there to give me a reference point of where the legs go. I'm going to make these legs a little bit thicker once I get them on where I want them. And now I'm going to make them a little bit thicker so they'll stand out against the web. Here are the spider legs all finished. I'm going to go ahead and cure them for about a minute. I had and cured that for about a minute and a half. And I do want to tell you that the thicker you make your lines out of black gel, the longer it is going to take to cure it because black is you know, very opaque and you have to make sure that the light can penetrate to cure the black gel all the way through or when you press it with the foil, the black gel, if it's not cured, will just squish out all over the place. But you'll need to make adjustments based on how thick your lines are. My silver foil. And now it's time to apply the body of the spider. 